Well, it's a trend that has really exploded recently, tween skin care. Parents, you know what I'm talking about if you've got a tween. From face masks, serums, and creams to brands like Drunk Elephant, Laneige, and Bubble, for kids? Companies have racked up more than $9 billion in sales in the past year, and social media is really a magnet for preteens. But should parents be worried about using too much too young? Let's ask the expert. Joining me now is dermatologist Dr. Brenda Latowski of Clear Dermatology. All right, I can so relate to this. Brenda, so what is behind this huge craze? Well, Tram, the kids are taking selfies. They're sending them to all their friends. They're looking at them constantly. They're on social media. They're seeing their peers do the skincare. They're seeing influencers do it. Yeah. And then because they have screens, a lot of companies have realized this demographic is huge and are actually targeting the tweens for marketing. So as a parent of a tween is using these products I mean, is that something that you'd recommend or should parents be pumping the brakes a bit? I think if the tween really wants to get started in skincare, it's okay as long as the parent is kind of overseeing it. It's not an obsession. We're making sure they're using safe products and the products fit within the budget of the family, then I would go for it. Okay, but on the flip side, if they're using products that maybe aren't made for, you know, their young skin, their beautiful glowing skin. Yes. I mean, you know, what could, what would the consequences be? Well, if they are using products with active ingredients like glycolic acid, yes. salicylic acid, retinol, they can get irritation of the skin. Mm -hmm. And so their skin actually gets red, it gets really sensitive. Then the tweens get really frustrated because they actually feel like they're looking worse instead of looking better. Yeah, and even allergic reactions, like you were yes. saying. Yes, yeah. yeah, so allergic reactions. A lot of the natural products have things that we can become allergic to. Which is so wild because they, you know, they tout it as natural and you think, oh, it's safe. It is kind of counterintuitive, but it happens all the time. And these allergies then can be lifelong. Wow. And oh. then finally, mm -hmm. I think um, we don't, really don't know the long-term repercussions of the chemicals found in these products and applying yeah. them from such a young age. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so now what do you recommend for tweens when it comes to, uh, I'm, I'm thinking a, a more simple skincare? Yes, exactly. Keep it simple. So number one, wash their face, they should wash their face twice a day. Mm -hmm. This will help combat oil as the tweens go into puberty. Number two, use a moisturizer twice a day after washing. This will replenish the moisture from the skin from washing. And then this will also set them up for success for their adult skincare regimen. Most importantly is use a sunscreen in the morning. And I like to recommend mineral-based sunscreens. Oh. And there are even tinted sunscreens. They have kind of a makeup finish. A lot of tweens really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And the tint can also cover any redness from blemishes. Okay, and also on that graphic, I mean, it's said to be paraben and uh, fragrance-free. That's important too, right? I think so. Just again, thinking about the chemicals they're exposed to and reducing the risk of allergies. Are there certain products or brand names that you recommend? You know, there are actually a lot of good over-the-counter drugstore brands. I really like Cetaphil products, mm -hmm. CeraVe products, La Roche-Posay, Kiehl's. Yeah. And you can go on Google or ChatGPT to see which specific products are paraben and fragrance-free. Oh, that's interesting. You know, on a side note, I'm just thinking, I mean, when I was a tween, eons ago, <laughs> uh, like, I didn't even... I, and I think most of our generation, we didn't even think about stuff like that. You know what I mean? We didn't, I don't even think we wore sunscreen until we were, I don't know, maybe at least well into high school. I agree, but you know, when these tweens are wearing sunscreen, it's actually so good because they are preventing sunburns, which is huge in preventing skin cancers. Yeah. And they're, prevent, they're lowering their risk of everyday sun exposure, which again, prevents skin cancers and slows down aging. Okay, so it's okay to use it a little young. All right, Brenda, thank you so much. Thank